Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here and I'm here beautifuls to bring to y'all my 2017 end of the year empties, okay? I probably would have more, but I wasn't thinking about doing the empties. I wasn't saving my empties till probably later, later in the, um, you know, in the end of the year or whatever but hey i'm here i'm going to share with you what i have and i'm just going to jump right on into it let's go with um with hair because y'all know i'm on a protective style journey and i do have a few empties probably would have had more but y'all know it i wasn't saving you know i was just tossing so anyway hey i have this amazing leave-in conditioner from K naturals y'all already know about K naturals and this lemongrass leave-in conditioner you know we hear a lot of people ranting and raving about it and it is worth the hype would i would i repurchase it yes i would but just not right now because i have a lot of other products that i want to go through so being on a protective style journey is helping me go through the products that i have because i don't i'm tired of this stash sitting here don't be shocked when i show y'all this Okay, y'all know how I feel about Shea Moisture. I told y'all I won't buy no more product from Shea Moisture. Okay, and and I haven't after that debacle. Um, I'm just going through the product that I still have so I can empty it. Yes, is this one of my favorites? Yes. Is it a, was it a holy grail? Yes. With the combination of the souffle and the um and the smoothie, couldn't tell my hair nothing. But anywho. And I also have this. This is the Curl and Shine um, Moisture Mist. Well, Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. So that's empty as well. And that's pretty much it, you know, for the hair products. Let's go with some, you know, beauty, skincare, etc., etc. Listen, I did a review on this company. If y'all haven't seen this video, go check this video out. This is the clarifying um, pads from uh, Urban Skin RX. Um, I still have other product from them, but they're not empty. This was a 60 day supply because it was, a, you know, you use a pad every day. And I love these. My skin loved it. Would I repurchase? Yes. Just not right at the moment because I was really using these as a toner. And I have a few other toners that I'm, you know, bouncing back and forth to at this point in time. But yeah, I will be repurchasing this. Um, let's see. Baby. This L'Oreal Revitalift, y'all, I did a video on this as well. It does everything it says it's going to do. Listen, am I going to re-up? Yes. Why haven't I? The coin, when I checked the price point, man, this thing is like $25, $24.99. I seen it at Ulta. And then when I started searching the website, I think the lowest price I saw it for was like $16, $17. And I don't even know where that site was. So I will be re-upping. I'm just going to wait for an Ulta coupon so I can go get it 20% off. Because it's, it's, it's worth it, y'all. I just... To, I just can't see myself paying $24 for it. It does last a long time. A little bit goes a long way because I had this since before August. And, but yeah, but anywho, love it. Will repurchase. Uh, this Renew Lotion, I got this from a company called Melaleuca. This one right here was a, actually a freebie that they sent me with an order. And I liked it so much that I did order another one. So I have another one in my, you know, in my bathroom. So, yes, I liked it. Obviously, I would repurchase because I got another one. But I don't know after, after that one's gone unless I can find it somewhere locally. Because I don't order, you know, from that company no more. All right. Now, y'all know how I feel about my girl, Alana, from A Life Balance. I love her products. Y'all already know. This one is the um, the buttercream. And I only buy it in this scent, the Tahari Blossom. It smells so good. Every time I wear this, people always ask me what perfume am I wearing. I'm not wearing no perfume. You know, I, I use it for my hands, elbows, knees. You, you know, um... Sometimes all over. It just depends. Whatever. Giving y'all too much information. 
but y'all am i going to repurchase yes not right now because i only use this really in the summertime this gets me through the summer into into fall and it's pretty much empty by the time winter rolls around you know what i'm saying so i will be repurchasing but just before summer hits baby or spring all right baby i told y'all i love alana this is the hydrating mist this is basically a toner baby you see i got two empties i probably would have more if i was saving them i think this one is the four ounce i think this one is the eight ounce i can't remember but i had to hit my girl up i was like hey do you got one that's bigger because i'm running through this like you know running through it like water great customer service she was like hey i, I got you go ahead and order the larger one is on the site i'm telling y'all this hydrating mist is bomb if i'm gonna keep it moving all right boom yes i would repurchase obviously i also got the liquid black soap from alana this is amazing because y'all know i love multi-purpose products and you can wash your hair it's good for your skin your, your, you know your face your body um you can clean your makeup brushes with it a little like just a little bit of this stuff goes a long way that's why i love this pump and she also has it in the solid soap form but i just wanted the liquid because you can control it better you don't need a whole lot of this to do what you want to do all right now this right here is not empty but it's about to be empty has anybody ever heard of calvin klein beauty i love this um I bought this years ago, not this one, but I bought a smaller size years ago when I was in a department store. I think it was Macy's. And the lady was like, oh, try, you know how to get you to test stuff. And I was like, oh, I just absolutely fell in love with it. So I had to get that, get the smaller version. And then my husband at the time, who is now my ex-husband, which was years ago, um, he got me this full size for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? And look how long it took me to get through this thing. Um because at one point i just wasn't using perfumes anymore i was just using oils and then i was cleaning house and stuff and going through, and i found this thing and i was like oh so this is like my work fragrance i spray this monday through friday just to go to work and yeah she's almost empty and would i repurchase absolutely i, I actually love this it's it's nice all right let's go to this cootie glide baby uh makeup elf setting spray empty yes i will repurchase um let's see another setting spray i have is from oops i'm dropping all my empties y'all thank god they empties <laughs> all right it's the la girl pro setting spray this is so good this is so good um yes i will repurchase i will be but right now i already got some other setting sprays that i'm going through so this is this is bomb y'all bomb every girl needs this if every girl needs this if you serious about your makeup and you like to play a makeup every girl needs this the mac fix plus yes i already re-upped on it mac studio fix baby okay i can't get no more out of this i keep trying to go around the barrel i can't yes i will be repurchasing this i just don't know when because like i said i got other stuff but i will be repurchasing this I'm trying to get six empty, y'all. <laughs> this Maybelline Fit Me Baby translucent powder. If y'all remember me speaking about this before, I use this as a, a barrier. I put my primer on, then I use this as an extra barrier in my T-zone to keep the oils from breaking through. I got to get some more. Yes, I will be repurchasing. Let me tell you. Let me show. I will be repurchasing. Okay, I can still scrape some around the box, but it's hard now. But repurchase will be all right this primer this mac prep and prime y'all this thing is the bomb yes i would repurchase when i tell you look when i tell you the bomb there's nothing in there i scraped her to the bare bone this was like this primer is great for me in the summertime this is a summertime primer for me i will be re-upping it probably won't be till just before summer kicks in so yeah definitely gonna repurchase okay this mascara this is called go big from julep 
I don't know if y'all are familiar with Julep. If you are, you probably think of them as a nail polish company, which they are. But they have branched out to beauty, makeup. And when I used to get their subscription box, they would send samples of, well, whatever. Whatever was in the box. And this one time they sent me this. Being on the Makeup No Buy made me go through the products that I just had sitting there. Get, having stored up from other other boxes or whatever not using it's actually a good mascara would i repurchase it no because i already have like a holy grail that i like it is it is accessible locally where i don't have to order it online all right another mascara y'all know this y'all i ain't even got to say that y'all just know about me holding up this this package you know what i'm saying it's the Too Faced better than sex mascara i'm gonna keep it a buck I, I don't like it. <sighs> let me let me say it like this. No, I'm not gonna repurchase it, especially the, especially the. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Especially the the full size. You know, I, I talk to my sisters. I tell them, hey, any of this high end, get the get the travel size you know what i'm saying because it doesn't dry out as quick I, now this is the only brand that i can say when i oh and the, the i have shit never mind i'm, I'm getting sidebar to sidebar anyway if i re, if i repurchase it it would be travel size okay it would not be the full size because this thing dries out all right now baby Y'all hear me talk about this baby all the time and if you follow me on instagram and you look at the makeup for the face of the day you're gonna see this mascara pretty much 95 percent of the time this is my holy grail this is my favorite i'm not separating drugstore and high end this is just my favorite mascara period okay this is what i've been using all through my makeup no buy and i don't know how many of these things i purchased but i already re-upped and everything all right so lip liner this is ruby kisses chestnut lip liner it's the retractable one but as you can see she's empty and i get them from the beauty supply store when i buy these i buy like five at a time i think they're 99 cent i don't think i don't know if they're not 99 cent they're 199 i can't remember but chestnut and i have a bunch of them on my makeup table so yeah i when i go i i buy at least five at a time because that's when i was really going hard with lip liner but i'm gonna be honest with you i ain't been like doing lip liner for a minute i just been putting my lip on it and go but anyhow chestnut ruby kisses um this primer baby dr brandt primer and i don't know if i shared this last year or not I might have <laughs> somebody called me out on it because I didn't throw it away because I want to remember to buy this but maybe I didn't I don't know but anywho it's empty now and I want to buy this but I gotta check the price point because Dr. Brandt I don't think it's cheap and um but it, I would say it'd be worth the money because it keeps the oil from breaking through right here okay I ain't gonna drag it out Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil baby it's not the one that retracts it's just the pencil that you sharpen and it has a spoolie at the end I love it my brows be on point to me okay and I don't I probably don't bought three of these already okay through throughout my makeup no buy oh y'all holier than grail concealer for my under eye highlight is this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I think it's NW40. Because I don't go too crazy light with my under eye. Yes, I will be repurchasing. But just not right at this moment. I have something else that I'm playing with right now. And, uh, yeah. But this is... She never lets me down. Never lets me down. Alright. Now, let me tell y'all something. This makeup nobody made me go through stuff. I was just going through different foundations, pulling different foundations or whatever. Baby, one day I went to go use this. This is my winter, like this color for this Lancome uh, Photogenic. It's suede number two. This is like the perfect winter color for me. I could probably get away with it a little bit in the summertime by doing a bronzer and all that stuff. Um, You know, contour. But this is really a winter one. When I went to go pull it, it won't do it. It won't do nothing. I put it up to the light. 
bitch said empty. I was like, oh my god, I emptied a foundation. This is that was like the first time I emptied a foundation ever besides my holy grail map. What anyway? So I pulled for another one. I pulled for this Maybelline Fit Me matte and polish we y'all know we rave about this thing and she is everything to me my color is 355 and i can get away with this in the summer and the winter you know um and i was like damn she's empty i got so excited about having empty foundations i called lori and told her like lori uh, i was like i can't I'm like yo i just pulled for two foundations and they they both empty i'm really going through my foundations so at the end of the day, would I repurchase this? Hell yeah, I'm going to. From Ulta, so I can get my damn points. You know what I'm saying? Would I repurchase this? I'm going to be honest with you. Not at this time, because I got a couple of samples of the Tint Idol. Is that how you say it? And I absolutely adore it. So, if anything, if I'll go back to get some more Lancome, it would be the Tint Idol. But definitely, I would repurchase this. I need to write the color down, too, so... I can uh, remember when I do want to repurchase that. Last but not least, y'all. Matte Waterproof Pro Long Wear Foundation. Y'all know this is my holy grail. I go through this, but when I started at Nobody, I was like, girl, you got to slow down on it. So I slowed down. And then when she finally went empty... I didn't go, I did not go re-up on her, even though I could have if I wanted to, but I had other foundations to mess with, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to shop my stash, but at the end of the day, would I repurchase it? Yes, I already have. If you watched my haul video, you know I already repurchased a few things that I shared in this video, and um... But yeah, beautifuls, that's it, y'all. That is my 2017 empties. Catch you guys in 2017. Who knows what I'll come back with with more empties, you know, because I'm just, honestly, I'm going through stuff, and who knows? You know, we'll see. Maybe I'll wait to the end of the year. It just depends on how much I accumulate throughout during the year, okay? But beautifuls, thank you for rocking with me for another year. To all the new beautifuls that joined in 2017, thank you. I hope you continue on and keep riding with me in 2018. Beautifuls, y'all have a happy new year. And i catch y'all after the new year. Deuces. Jay